Congratulations, Franka Aldo. You've just won a bronze medal in the judo at the African Games in Accra. How do you feel? Well, I feel so excited. Um, but right now, I'm lost of words. I don't even know what to say because it wasn't easy at all. I didn't know I will get to this stage because it's been a long time. It's been a break. And then coming back here to the same thing again, the same category. It's, oh, I'm just excited. <laughs> what was the preparation like coming here? Well, like, for this game, honestly, I started preparing since last year, mm -hmm. in August. Wow. August. And then gradually, gradually, hard trials, championships, and all of that. And then we are here. Even though I didn't get to the final due to an injury I got, like I'm talking to you right now, I have a good shoe that I'm ready. It was bandaged to I used to. But, and then when I got to my bronze final, wow, I felt like giving up. Yes, because my hands were not working again, especially my full shoulder. And then the lady seems to be so strong. <laughs> and then I could hear my teammates, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just can't, you know, let all of the sacrifices and everything just go away. And then I was the only chance remaining. Everybody was out. I was the only one. So I just put in everything I had last year and then God did it. So you said this is your fourth African Games? Yeah. You did 2007, 2011, 2015, yes. but you weren't in Rabat in 2019. I was in Rabat in 2019 because um, two first slots were given to judo, um, like two weight category girls and two for boys. And then fortunately, fortunately for me, my category was not included. So for me to you know, stay back, in fact, I'm going to say that I was out of the game for eight years. You know, I was out of the game for eight years, and then last year, June, I just went for an African Championship, and I was able to get a bronze medal. Then I said, good, there's something for me. Then I came here again after then, 20, from 2015, coming here to get the same medal. I think this is an achievement for me, honestly. So that means you've been in this sport for a while. What has kept you going for this long? Well, determination and training. And focus, and then my loved ones have always encouraged me. My family, my friends, and my coach. My coach. You know, I train every day. Been out of season of competition. When I'm coming for competition or not, I'm training. I think it's just, and then God overall, honestly. It's just not. So, maybe tell us why you went into judo. Like, it's a very physical and oh, combative no. sport. Yeah, I think, um, right from when I was little, I knew I wanted to be something aggressive. But, yeah, but I didn't know it was going to be judo. And then I just walked in over two decades ago. And then I stood by the window, they were training inside, and my coach was like, You like this? I said, Yes, okay, come tomorrow. I can remember very well. Then I came the next day and then I started training. Nobody took me there, nothing. I just, and then God has been doing it. I, I, I just, I used to say, God just saw me and then just gave me this talent, you know? Because since that time I started, I've been active till this. And you have no regrets being in judo. No, 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 I don't have regrets. Uh, judo is already part of my life. I'm out of judo, I force it. Yeah, I so for how much longer do you think you're going to go? I don't think I have much long. I don't have much time. I don't think yeah. so. I need to. So what do you want to achieve before you retire? Well, uh, the Olympics is out of it already because we have not been going for years. Yes, it would have been my biggest dream. And then last year, um, last two years for Commonwealth also, my category was not picked. So I think uh, the only games I've not attended is Commonwealth and then yeah, the Olympics. And you know, Olympics is the height of all, yeah, all sports. So but thank God, my achievement has been. I just I just love words to see honestly. I'm just excited. But the only thing is that since I started all this judo thing, sports going here and there, I've never been with my coach. In fact, that made me cry today. 
back. Every time I go alone, it's always bad. Yeah. Just for no reason. On that part, I don't feel happy. But I make sure most of the times I try to get the medal for him. Yeah. But he's going to tell me, don't worry, just do your best and get the medal. And I think dedicating this medal to him and my family, honestly. Thank you very much, Frank, and all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you.